Twitter has gone in the other direction. The company announcing it will ban all political ads ahead of the 2020 election. Twitter CEO tweeting this. We've made the decision to stop all political advertising on Twitter globally. We believe political message reach should be earned, not bought. Joining me now, Tammy Bruce, Fox News contributor and host of Get Me Tammy Bruce on Fox Nation. Chris Hahn, talk radio host, who's formerly worked for Chuck Schumer. Um, I brought you back because I think this is an interesting moment, right? Because you have two big tech companies that are facing some heat from Capitol Hill, some bipartisan heat making big decisions on freedom of speech. Tammy, how do you see this? Well, you, this is also the, the, the argument here about whether or not they're publishers or if they're platforms, mm -hmm. right? A, an open season there for people to go on and speak their minds. And this has been a debate because there's repercussions, there's certain laws, regulations if you're a publisher where you're deciding what will be heard, what can be allowed to be on the platform, etc. Now, uh, Zuckerberg's point is, as you've noted with your, with your interview, which was fabulous, is that uh, you know he doesn't think they should they should be censoring of course the old american framework is that it should be more speech not less uh and yet uh, dorsey is saying over on twitter that you know we we don't want to be able to have people pay to mislead uh the, right. the, the platform and yet there are so many people who are not candidates who do that on a daily basis on both sides of the aisle, conspiracy theories, making things up, things that are uh, presented as though it's real news. And it's not news organizations. It might be blue checked people. So is so you would be stopping candidates, some of whom really would need this kind of a forum, mm -hmm. individuals trying to break into the framework well, against incumbents. And yet you're not going to have that same rule for individuals who aren't candidates. Right. So, well, Chris, what do you think? I think they have no way of determining what's truth and what's not truth. So they've got to make one or two choices. Either I'm going to let everything out or I'm going to let nothing out. This is not stopping people who are just Twitter users from saying whatever they want. This is stopping people from buying ads on the platform. So, look, in, in broadcast and other types of, uh, of, of media, there is a board that determines if something is, is suitable for it's those publications. Regulated. It's regulated, right. Mm -hmm. right. These are not regulated. These are as powerful, if not more powerful, than the regulated mediums. And they should have some accountability to what's being said on their platform. So I welcome this decision. I hope we By get past Twitter. I, I do, but I hope they get past it and find out a way to come to some medium where they say, hey, we'll take ads from candidates who are now responsible for what they are saying rather than these dark see, money groups is, that are out there putting out messages that we know are false, that we know are lies, that we know are but misleading. This is the problem. It may even be foreign. But, but the, determining truth. Yes, exactly. What is truth? And then when they said also they've, they've decided to not take issue ads. So does that mean that who's going to be the arbiter of what's an issue? So you have a pro-life group who would be determined to be an issue group right. and they will be banned. Planned Parenthood would be health care so that they wouldn't. This has been the per perpetual problem. Who determines what the truth is? That's right. Well, it depends on what the and issues Facebook are. And Facebook is saying See, um, that's that, the, that's that, the that the people answer. should. Um, <laughs> it's a sticky wicket. As they it say, is a sticky wicket. Yes. Yeah. All right. Tammy Bruce and Chris Hahn, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you.